In this video, we're going to use reference angles to evaluate secant, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent functions. It says use a reference angle to write secant 225 in terms of, a, of the secant of a positive acute angle. When they say positive acute angle, they're talking about quadrant one. Uh, what we want to do is we want to say secant 255 degrees is equal to some equivalent expression in quadrant one. First of all, where is 255 degrees? That's quadrant three. So I'm gonna label that this is quadrant three. And is secant positive or negative in quadrant three? Well, secant, remember, is one over cosine theta. So cosine in quadrant three is actually negative, so that means that this piece here is negative. So when I put that in the calculator, secant 255, I'd get a negative number. Now I need to find the coat or the re reference angle for 255. So I'm going to take 255, subtract 180 degrees, take the absolute value of that, and that gives you 75 degrees. So this is actually equal to secant of 75 degrees. So secant 255 is equal to secant 75 degrees, but they're not exactly equal because secant 75 is actually positive in the first quadrant, whereas this is in the third quadrant, secant 255, and that's negative. So I'm going to offset it by putting a negative out front. So my solution to this problem would be negative secant 75 degrees is equivalent to secant 255, but it's equivalent in the first quadrant. 